Hey guys, so in a twist here, we're going to do 4-8 this week for our last section of chapter 4, and then we're going to move on to uh, chapter 5, maybe 6, I'll have to look at. <clears throat> but your IXL this week is K5 through something. Let's see. And I only have 13 minutes, so isn't that good? I won't take my normal 20 to 25 minutes to talk to you right now. Sorry. We can talk more in class. All right. So five, you should be good. Six, that's why we're doing this section. Seven should be good eight all right so eight let me just do let me just do, just do this one okay see you see here this proof uh this proof has whoop. Oh, hey. Oh. This proof has finger and triangles right here. And then it has a statement after by CPCTC. Okay, and why are these triangles congruent? Well, let me just quickly mark the picture. WX. Okay, so this is angle, angle, side. The side is not in between the angles. It's angle, angle, side. So it won't let me select it, but I know that it's angle, angle, side. Super. All right. So you see, all of these proofs are going to go all the way down to CPCTC. I wonder. All right, so anyway, let's go back to the book. <laughs> it's going to go statement further, but then you have these other type of proofs, which you see in. Uh, and I didn't freeze. Um, coordinate proofs. So there it is. Okay, so. What do we do for coordinate proofs? Well, we're mostly going to do side, 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 which means we're going to use the distance formula. You could also use the midpoint formula. There's the distance formula. So <clears throat> let's now, do you guys know the distance formula? I'm going to tell you. It is. The distance formula is x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, all under the square root. <clears throat> and so we can use the distance formula to show the length of a side. So if you read this problem here, we have three locations given by their longitude and latitude. Longitude and latitude is like a coordinate plane, right? So the earth that we live on is like a coordinate grid. Can you believe that? That's why Google Maps works so well. That's why they always know where we are. Anyway, just the world we live in, right? We can use the distance formula to find exact distances from place to place. And once we know that, we know the length of a side. So we know that side using the distance formula is 17.33. How do we know that? Because we have the coordinates right there and right there. And this can be x1, y1, x2, y2. And then also mp is 15.93.
and then 14.96. All right. So. Oh no, I didn't mark a candle. Are we candle taping? Uh, anyway. Well, now this is all a mess here. Got to just zoom in. Um, oh, I found the zoom. Don't worry, guys. I found the zoom. All right. <clears throat> so each side is a different length, so it's scaling. So that's one way. But you can imagine that we could do side, side, side by finding the lengths of all, all the sides. And the more you use the distance formula, the quicker it will get. But also... Sorry, I'm just scrolling through because I'm looking at the different things. Also with coordinate proofs, if you actually want to use a coordinate proof, you'll have to put something on the coordinate plane. So how do you put something on a coordinate plane? Well, the first thing to know is that if we use the point zero, zero, we can make our life a lot easier. So when we put this triangle on the coordinate plane, put at least one of the points at zero, zero. And then we have a vertical height. And the length of that side would be A. And we have a horizontal uh, side. And what would the length of that side be? B. And how can we find the length of the diagonal side? Did anyone say Pythagorean theorem? Or the distance formula? It's all the same, actually. So that would be, and remember, I just said it's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared all under the square root. And so what's x2 minus x1? b minus 0. And y2 minus y1? 0 minus a. What's b minus zero squared is b squared. Now, this is not part of the example, but I wanted to do it because some of you may think that the square root of b squared plus a squared is equal to b plus a. Sorry to tell you, that's incorrect. It's not equal to b plus a. Try it with numbers and you'll find out. Two squared plus two squared is not the same as two plus two. All right, so we just leave it like that. Square root of b squared plus a squared. Okay. There we go. So there's the steps. You should have them in your notes. Place zero as the vertex or center of the triangle. Place at least one side on an axis. Keep the triangle within the first quadrant. Avoid those negatives. And use coordinates that make computations as simple as possible. Now, sometimes you may have missing coordinates. All right, so we can use relationships within the triangle. For example, if we have a midpoint or something else, then we can... Uh, write an expression for a coordinate. But x is 0, 0. z is on the axis, so that would be a 0. y is, see y is a midpoint, right? And how do we know that? Because the triangle is isosceles. So an isosceles triangle, we skipped that section, but we're learning it now. An isosceles triangle, the vertex is uh, at the midpoint between uh, the two other vertices on the base. So that would be, that would be uh, A over two and B. We don't know what the Y value is, so we use another letter B. All right. Name the missing coordinates of, so now let's try this. So we got, you know, B is zero, zero. 
we know A would be uh, called zero little a. Oh, no, we can't call it zero little a because we already got an a for the c. So we'll call it zero v. And then c will be a zero. So that's not too bad. Once you have everything placed correctly, then you can write a proof. In this one, we're trying to prove that things are parallel. Do we know how to do that? We surely do. You can use how do you prove things are parallel? Not the not the corresponding angle postulate, but the corresponding angle postulate converse, or possible to use the AIA converse. Any converses. Also, because we're on a coordinate grid. We can say um, one, one thing about parallel lines on a coordinate grid is that they have the same slope. So we can use that. Isn't that cool? See, that's another thing we can do because we're on the coordinate grid. We can calculate a slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Don't ever forget. The slope formula. All right, so in this one, just going to calculate some slopes and show that they're both zero in this case. Both these lines have slopes of zero straight across. All right, write a coordinate proof to show that the triangles are congruent. Well, how are we going to do that? Hmm. Well, we have all of the coordinates labeled, so we could use the distance formula and show the corresponding sides are congruent. And now just do one pair for the sake of time and space. I'm gonna show that AB is congruent to CD. But if I wanted to do uh, the whole thing, I would have to show also that bx is congruent to dx and ax is congruent to cx. Really got to go five minutes. All right. So ab, ab is zero, zero. And b is zero x comma b. Zero plus x. That's just x. All right. Oh, well, now I got it. All right, so if I find the distance of AB, X2 minus X1 is going to be X minus zero. Y2 minus Y1 is B minus zero x squared plus b squared. All right. And then what about cd? Let me do cd over here. cd, way over here. a plus x minus a, that's x2 minus x1, plus y2 minus y1, b minus zero. So it's a plus x minus a. Well, the a's cancel out. It would just be x squared. What's b minus zero? B. And lo and behold, I have the square root of x squared plus b squared. And a, b was also the square root of x squared plus b squared. 
weird things, but the same thing. And so I know that AB is congruent to CD. Okay? So give these things a try. Try filling in the missing coordinates. Try writing a coordinate proof using the distance formula, the midpoint formula. Look at these word problems, not the hot problems. And make sure you know how to do all of them because we're gonna have a return of the textbook questions on next week's quiz. I hope you're excited and I hope you're ready. Bye.